Have you ever wondered what's true happiness? Because I have, and I think that I have a pretty good clue. But most people don't know what's true happiness. They only know about surface level happiness, which is the materialistic stuff like money, fame, a car, a house. Most people think that acquiring these things will make them happy, but in reality, it just uh, does not work like that. Because those things are not meant to make you truly happy. Those things are just an illusion, because most people who achieve those things, they realize that uh, <clears throat> the stuff that they have achieved does not make them truly happy. And then they get depressed and start to search for true happiness, because true happiness is not found in materialistic stuff. It's found from within, not without. You can't depend on the outside world to make you happy. You can only be happy when you choose to be happy by yourself. And that's what happiness is. It's a choice. Anyone in this world can be happy, no matter the circumstances. Most people just choose not to be happy because they depend on the outside world to make them happy. And do you think the outside world is meant to make you happy? <laughs> no, it's like 90% of the time made to make you unhappy. So if you rely on the outside world to make you happy, then you will be unhappy for the rest of your life. So stop depending on the outside world to make you happy, because true happiness comes from within, not from without. Alright, so what is true happiness? In my opinion, true happiness comes from the combination of these three things, gratitude, presence and contribution. Now let me elaborate on these three things. So the first, gratitude. What is gratitude? Gratitude is being grateful for every single thing that you have in your life and about every single thing that has happened to you in the past. Gratitude is like literally the scientific term for happiness and being grateful does not mean to be only grateful about the good things. It also means being grateful about the bad things. For example, you need to be grateful about the bully that bullied you in second grade. Or you need to be grateful about the time that uh, you were addicted to drugs or alcohol or any, any kind of situation that was bad for you. You need to be grateful for it because it's in the past and you cannot change it. So the best thing that you can do is to be grateful about it. Because if you hold resentment against it, it's like a lose-lose situation. You cannot change anything about it and you're just... Uh, What's the word? Lowering your happiness right now. <laughs> so you need to be grateful about every single experience, even the bad ones. For example, I am grateful that I did not have a father growing up. Like, have you ever heard anyone say that? Because most people who did not have a father growing up, they hold resentment against them. But I don't, because I cannot change it. So what's the point of uh, lowering my happiness right now? by uh, holding resentment. I'm just being grateful for the fact that I did not have a father growing up because I am the man that I am right now, just because I did not have a father growing up. All right, that's the first thing, gratitude. Being grateful about every single thing that has happened to you. Now let's move on to the second thing, presence. What is presence? Presence is being present in the present moment because you cannot be truly happy if you are constantly wandering around in your thoughts. And studies show that uh, if you are wandering around in your thoughts, then you are less happy than if you were to be in the present moment. And you know what's the weird thing? If you are uh, wandering in your thoughts and you are thinking about some positive thought, then you would be less happy than if you were in the present moment. I found it really uh, shocking because I thought that if you were thinking about positive thoughts, then you would be more happy. But in reality, it turns out that you are less happy than if you were in the present moment. But the thing is that most people, the most thoughts that most people get are negative thoughts. So they are even worse than if you were to have a positive thought. So if you are in the present moment, then you will be much more happy than if you were to be in, well, lost in your thoughts. Because life is just a series of like a billion present moments. All that life is, is this present moment. Like all that life is for me right now, is me speaking to my camera. Like this is just all my life. This is my present moment. Like I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in the future, like two minutes from now, but I don't need to think about it because that's, not, that's just not in the present moment. Right now I'm super present while speaking to you. I literally feel everything like, <laughs> I'm not lost in my thoughts. I'm in the flow state, which is the state uh, where you are present in the present moment. And the way that you can be more present in your day-to-day -day life is by meditating consistently. And I have already made a video on why you should meditate and how to meditate properly. And I'm going to link it. I don't know which corner it's going to be, but right up, right, right up here. And uh, another way that you can be more present is by just catching yourself daydreaming throughout the day. Like, I catch myself every single day, just constantly 
wandering around my thoughts, thinking about the past event or a future event. And the thing that I do is just bring myself back to the present moment. And that really trains your presence. So if you ever catch yourself wandering around in your thoughts and thinking about something else that you are not doing right now, then just bring yourself back to the present moment and think about what you are doing right now. All right, let's move on to the third component of true happiness, contribution. What is contribution? Contribution is contributing to the society in a meaningful way, being useful to society. And you can be useful to society in many different ways. For example, you can be a cashier in a store, you can be a plumber, you can be an electrician, you can be an accountant, or you can be a YouTuber like I am. <laughs> you have to find your own way, what's going to bring you the most fulfillment and what's going to make the society a better place to live in. And all of those things that I just mentioned provide value to society. But most of those things are not going to make you truly happy. Because most of those things are not uh, most people's life callings. Like, maybe someone is out there whose life's calling is being an accountant, but <laughs> I seriously doubt it. <laughs> so you need to find your own life's calling. For example, mine is helping people achieve their fitness goals through calisthenics and healthy eating, and also sharing my knowledge about self-improvement topics like this video. And uh, when you're able to do your life's calling and also help people in the process and also earn money in the process, like life truly is different. You will never work a day in your life again. And no, I'm not making any money from this right now, but I know that I will someday. And that even though that I'm not making any money from this, the fulfillment that I get is crazy. Like the people that message me that my videos have helped them, it's like the most fulfilling thing that I have experienced in my life. Because I have put my creative energy in something like, for example, creating a video, and that video has helped someone. <laughs> like, it's really, <clears throat> it's really a thing that... Uh, brings you a lot of true happiness. Like take for example, authors of uh, famous books, uh, they help like 10 million people and the fulfillment that they get must be like <laughs> ridiculously crazy <laughs> because they help so many people. And yeah, helping people is just a thing that will make you truly happy. Like there's no question about it. All right, so to quickly recap this video, stop depending on the outside world to make you truly happy because it won't. <laughs> True happiness comes from within, not from without. And true happiness consists of three things. Gratitude, presence and contribution. I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if it was, then I would be super grateful if you left a like or even subscribe to my channel. And also comment down below what kind of videos you would like to see from me more. Have a beautiful day and remember, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Peace.